Hey guys, so what the hell happened on the last episode? Nemesis Stage 2. Looks like a completely different thing. I thought it looked like Godzilla for the love of God. It, it just transformed into this completely different monster. It was it was really insane. And of course, we also saw Nikolai left Jill for dead again i don't like that man bro but uh one person i do really 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 like in this game besides jill of course is carlos if jill does not propose to this man by the end of the series i'm gonna be upset this man has he better at least he better at least get a damn kiss because this man has saved her life well like maybe four times now so currently we are with carlos and jill at the hospital carlos went and saved jill again she faced off the nemesis at stage two but then once she chopped off his arm, he like threw this thorn at her and infected her. So as you can see right now, she is infected. And we've got to go ahead and find some sort of vaccine to, you know, hopefully she doesn't die on us or whatnot. But we're here in the hospital with our boy Carlos. And uh, I'm ready to rumble, baby. I am ready to tear some zombie ass. As always, my name is Hollow. And welcome back! Let's go. Here we go. All right, so we can only interact with the Jill if we're going to do something. Probably uh, give her the vaccine, of course. And put this card over here. I don't need that anymore. And, uh, okay. I think I think we're good. Nice. All right, let's head out. Got some assault rifle ammo. Don't worry, Jill. You sit tight there, sweetheart. We're going to find the vaccine. Got to be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Ooh. Copy. Ghost I'll reference. go on ahead. Stay frosty, Carlos. Stay frosty. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Let's go find this damn freaking doctor and get this vaccine going. My future wifey Jill is not gonna die. Because my name is Carlos. And that's Carlito's way. Alright, guys, I'm nervous. You know, you guys know when I'm nervous, I tend to talk a lot of bullshit. Oh, hi, we've got a lot of. That's right, Carlos. We ain't got no time for this. Why didn't I just take... Wouldn't it be the smart way to say, Hey, I've got a handgun and I don't have a red dot sight. Why not take Jill's that has a red dot sight? And now I run out of bullets. That's... That's cute. Listen, man. You guys are not going to bully me, all right? That's right. Get the fuck out. Oh, there's another... Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, God. There's too many of them. There's way too many of these damn zombies here. Oh, fucking shit. Who woke up? Shut up. Oh, he's still up. God damn it. Get the hell out of here. All right, there was an herb there, right? I think I just picked up a yeah, red herb. All right, guys. I think we're done here. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. This should be illegal. Okay. Here we go. Let's, let's head this way. I fucking hate hospitals, dude. I, I don't like hospitals in general. It is it is just a very, very creepy field, especially in the world of a pandemic. The world of Resident Evil. Right now, this is just terrifying. I'm just gonna try and keep talking to keep myself busy, keep my... uh. My brain stimulated. And that way I don't get scared as much. You know, when you get your brain. Welcome to the office of. When you give your, your brain something to Jonathan do. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Things hit different. Okay, we've got a, a journal's note here. September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives do not stop them, uh, stop their delirium. So we have to put them in straight jackets and move them into the isolation wing. Problem is the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does the uh, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual uh, mortuary teams. I probably screwed that word up. I'm sorry. We've been told it's a special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. But I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guy wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Why? Uh, where? What is going on? I'm sorry. I've got third grade reading skills. 
Yo, open up. Can I put the tape here? No. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match now. <laughs> voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Uh, this is a very sci-fi bullshit. As a matter of fact, Carlos, you are in the world of Resident Evil 3, the remake. So, yes, my friend. Oh, God. All right, I'm coming in here like fucking Rambo. I'm not fucking in. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fucking around anymore. Oh, my God. I just missed like 16 bullets there. Oh dear. Some would say I play Call of Duty for a living. Some would say I'm not very good at it. As, as, as you can see, I missed a lot of those, uh, a lot of those shots there. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, I'm fucking bitch on a stretcher. Oh, oh, oh. Um, what do you? You better pull that fucking assault rifle. Don't, but don't come at me with a damn knife. Are you crazy? This is not the walking dead. A knife to the head is not going to kill these things. Okay. Got another red herb here. That's crazy. I don't know. Should I? I don't want to take the herb yet. At least until I'm... Hold on. Let me reload. You know what? I'm going to take... Uh, shit, dude. I want to take this ammo. I got full ammo. I do get full ammo. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take this then. I'll take the assault rifle bullets. I don't mind if I do. Okay, so we can go this way, right? I think... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, okay. This is the other side of the hallway. And that's locked. I see what's going on. Okay, so we came here. That's a key card. We can't use over there because there's no key card. So we've got to go this way. Up into whatever floor! Okay. That's just a falling zombie. I don't know how I got there, but... Uh... Okay. Dude, there's so many things happening in this hospital. It's so, like, cluttered and... Holy cow. Look at all the meals. Unfortunately, nobody got to eat them. It's okay. Those meals probably taste like shit anyways. There's a dead doctor there in the floor. Okay. Oh, more. Oh, dude, I need this. God damn it. Can I mix the... No. I need handgun ammo, actually. I really do need handgun ammo. Okay, I'm gonna go in this room first. Oh, this is a safe room. Great. Yep. We've got a box right here. Hold on. You know what? I don't really need too many of these. I'm not going to use the... F f uh, I might use the flashbang, actually. Um, I'm going to put this back over there. Let's see what I got here. Nurse's Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Uh, the patients in the isolation wing exhibiting several limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium... And signs of hyperphagia. Uh, possible infection? Tried every antiseptic, still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the uh, patients. We've been uh, we've disinfected the wound, but this fever won't go down. Nothing's worked. Meanwhile, uh, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have to get... Uh, we've got to contain this chaos. Just, just imagine the tragedy these people were going to. Like, just the headache. Like, that's some scary shit, bro. I do not want to deal with that. Okay, so look. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead here and I'll get the red herb. And put it in here. And mix it with this one. Let's see? Just like that. And I'll put this over here. Yep. Bada beam, bada boom. Just like that, we're out of there. Okay, next door. I know there was... Oh, wait a minute. There was handgun ammo back here. I can go get it. <clears throat> I 
Perfect. See, I, I typically like to use my handgun ammo on, like, just the regular zombies. Oh, my God. What the hell happened here? Holy cow. Oh, those fucking creatures. Look at the claw marks. Please, I really hope they're not here. These guys are all freaking dead. Holy crap. Dude, I really need to find a lockpick, huh? Oh, there's a note here. Nurse's Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have been barricaded or have, a, have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside. They're screaming. But none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us, of course. I cannot believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I cannot stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We've heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sun grew distant and we're all left... And, and all we're left with now is the moaning and uh, the moaning of the dead and the sh silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana Miranda, Dakota. I'm so sorry I killed you. <sighs> okay. Is there anything else in here? Can I open that door? Oh, shit, no, I cannot. I need a key. Memos of uh, from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. There's a lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Okay. So there's a key that we have to get. And it looks like it's in the courtyard. Okay, let's just keep going. So all those zombies are... They turned into zombies, of course. And you may think, well, how the hell did they... How are they zombies and they're just... You know, they're just laying down there. Nobody killed them. But I think all that blood is... Is from one of those creatures. I keep forgetting their name. The guys uh, that, with big claws. The ones that I'm really, really scared of. Okay. Not this way. Oh, fucking A. What is this shit? Okay. Ooh, what is this? What we got here? That's a safe. We don't have the code. We've got a note from a tape recording. Dakota. I think I know what happened to the missing tape for do uh, of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of the patients saw a bot remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walked towards the treatment room. I tried to sneak in and look during the night shift. Just got to stay cool and keep doing your job. Do not care how important Dr. B is to the medical uh, medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't, let, uh, I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole, and he will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong. A friend. Okay, they opened up the door. I, I can't get in here. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? This guy's running at me. Come on. Come on! Both of them, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, just when I thought that was not even possible. Here we are. Come on, this freaking relentless ass freaking zombie. Okay. I don't want to have to take it this far, but you guys have given me no choice. All right, let's get out of here. Jesus Christ, man. Not taking any chances. Sorry. Just can't do it. 
Okay, we've got a green herb here. Okay, okay. Oh, what the freaking shit, you fucking... You know what, bro? God damn it. Alright, so we gotta head this way. Oh, that's the courtyard right there. Ooh. Hold on. Okay, we cannot open that. Oh, there's another opening right here. Let's go down here. See what we got. Oh, we've got an herb. We can mix this with this one. Oh, we got double the herb, double the power. <laughs> we've got a key here, and what the fucking shit. You know what? I'm gonna take the herb. Good. We need the key anyways. Oh, there's something there, huh? Well, I'm gonna have to go on that side and see what, what that's all about. Moral soul rifle ammo. Thank you. Oh, this is that door from the other side of the hallway. Okay. So I'm gonna go back up there. I'm gonna jump down there again. See what the hell is on the other side. There's another spot that we can jump into the... Hold on. Okay, this is... Oh, hi. It's you again, but now you've awoken. But when you awake, you also awake a beast within me. A beast that's gonna rip your ass in half. Ah. Oh, what the... What the fuck was that? Holy shit. Tactical grip, assault rifle, hey. Hell yeah. Let that beast come here right now. I'm about to beat his ass. Yo, that was creepy as hell, dude. That that thing just ran right past me. Like, like, like if it was trying to tell me something. It's trying to scare the shit out of me. My name is Carlos Carlitos. And I will not stand for this fucking bully shit. I will kill you. Got an assault rifle with a foregrip and a red dot. I am a dangerous animal myself. You still here? You're still here, dude? Jesus, how annoying is that, huh? Okay, hold on. We're gonna go back this way. You know what? Oh, there's a map right here. Nice. We're here, staff room. We gotta go there, and then the, the nurse's station. I'm actually gonna go back here and see if we can save the game real quick. That's the room, right? Yep, that's the room indeed. Don't you look at that? Interesting. Another flashbang. Really? Oh! Okay, I can delete this. Oh. Get your shit out of me, motherfucker. I'm surprised that none of these zombies have awoken. Alright. Got a little saving icon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now the zombies are also going to wake up. What the freaking hell is that? Did I just stun myself? Holy 
crap. Jesus Christ! Wow. That was terrifying. That was indeed the beast that scared the shit out of us earlier. I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna save this game now that we've defeated that di 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 disgusting monster. Um, yes, sir, I am. Huh. I'm gonna save it right over here. I don't want to take the first aid kit because I'm still not necessarily like in red health. Um, so I don't, I don't really want to waste that. You know what I mean? <sighs> Even though it's very tempting, I hate walking like this. But I don't think we have a speed uh, decrease when we're on yellow. Maybe in red we do, but in yellow I'm not too sure. All right, well, now we've got the card. This is the nurse's station. Okay. Here we go. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, where is this taking us? The linen room. All right, hopefully we can go to the staff room as well. <gasps> what the fuck? You're telling me there's more of them? No way, bro. Come on. Dude, there's just there's no way. Oh, they're gearing us up for hell right now. They are gearing us up for hell. Dear God. Hi, sweetie. Uh, you're very cute in that lab coat, you know? <laughs> but I'm going to need to sit the fuck down. Because Carlito is not playing around right now. Okay, I need a green herb to mix it with that. I swear to God, I am about to lose my shit with these fucking zombies. Doc, just stay down, please, Doc. Just Doc. Okay, hold on. Let's see what what, what door this is. fucking doors and everything. You gotta be careful. Oh! Okay, okay, that's okay. Uh, just take a first aid. You're like new, baby. Let's go, Carlos. This is for Jill. This mother... This one's a little smarter than the other one. Hi. I will spray your ass down, buddy. I've got bullets. <laughs> Believe me. I will spray your ass down. Alright, thankfully we had a bunch of sprays and shit. Oh, God. Some of these creatures are just crazy. More AR ammo. Oh. Is that the doctor? No. That's not Dr. Bardit. Is that him? Oh my god, that is him. Holy crap. It, I don't know. I, I, I could be wrong. Hold on. Let me play this. Uh, combine with this. Here we go. Let's play this. OK, 
Okay. Okay, can I not fucking... A player... Okay, is this not gonna play or what? Okay. I mean, I, I mixed the cassette tape with the cassette player. <sighs> let's, head, let's head back this way, guys. Pretty much searched everything that there was to search there. Okay, this is clear. I don't know why. I'm kind of like breaking my head over this. The fact that it's not letting me play that. Could be something simple that I'm missing. Okay, there was no door in there, right? No, there was not. Okay, let's head back over here. I think the next what we gotta do is go into the linen room. Wait, that was not the linen room? Really? Linen room has to be opened. This is this is the linen room. Wait, you're telling me we missed something here? Really? Oh shit, look at this. A red herb. Huh. And that's the lockpick. Okay, so. There's another one of those creatures. This is a joke, right? Hold on. This is a fucking joke, right? <laughs> fucking bullshit. Get out of here with that shit. You know what? I'm gonna, gonna jump down below. Let's see if we can go through here. I know now we got a key card. So we can definitely search some of the other rooms that we weren't able to search before. We've already been there. Gotta go back through here. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nurse's station. Staff room. Right, let's see what we find here. Look how many zombies are there, bro. There's like more zombies in there now than there was before. How how they even How'd they get in how'd they get in there? Come on, come on, come on. Excellent. Dude, I really need this fucking lockpick, bro. Why are you still here, woman? Fucking A, you're annoying. One bullet left in my handgun. <laughs> Shit. Alright, hopefully this, this room's got a lockpick. Could probably be something as simple as finding it somewhere else. But we had to take it from Joe. We don't even know, huh? <laughs> oh god. That's not that's not a good sign. They literally just gave me like 17 grenades. Okay. RE lost items. To all employees, we've undated with reports of lost items. We've been un undated. In un inundated. Okay. We've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and, uh, and it is unclear who it belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit it to the nurse's station safe. A safe combination. There we go. It's nine clockwise, three clock. So nine right, three left. All right, so now we know. 
Dude, look at all the ammo they're giving us. This is, this is, this is literally crazy. Okay, we're in here now. Find it's an herb. All right, we've searched everything up. We're gonna mix this with this. Combine. Put grenade there. Uh, key card. I can discard it. I'm gonna leave it on for now. I know I already can. I'm already safe to discard it. <clears throat> but. Leave it on for now. Hold on. Go up here. Here we go, boys. Alright. Here now. Oh god, there's a zombie. <laughs> okay, so we're here. We're gonna go now to the nurse's station staff room let's go straight to the nurse's station which is straight ahead now we've got the safe combination which was indeed hold on uh police station hospital nine three okay nine three Hip pouch? No. Oh, extended mags? Dual mags. Holy crap. Okay. That's a one hell of an upgrade. <laughs> if you ask me. Jesus. Yeah, I was starting to wonder. I wonder whether this mag this uh this weapon doesn't really carry a lot of bullets. Oh, we got 64. This is fucking awesome. Okay, so we've done that. The linen room is still. We need that lockpick. I'm going to just go ahead and go to the staff room now, which is, I think, through here. Hold on. Yep. There's something missing here. It's the lockpick that I can. That's what it is. God, I really wish I knew where the fuck that lockpick is. All right, let's just go back downstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. Sorry. God damn it. Okay, we're good. Oh, I'm gonna put this key card here. I don't want to delete it. I don't want to discard it just in case. I know it's already safe too, but... Man, I'm, I'm just weird like that, okay? Just... Let me be, goddamn. Okay, we've got to go back this way through the roof. What should be like somewhere here on the roof or something? I haven't even spotted it. Thank you, sir. Thank you for not biting me. I appreciate it. Although you really wanted to, but I didn't let you. But just thank you. I'm going to go pretty much to where we came from. Like the, the beginning. Go through here. Ah, this is a joke already, bro. The fact that these zombies are still up. This is already like... This game's already messing with my head. Total bullshit. Alright, we've got the tape already, so... We can use the tape right here. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... I'm sorry, Doc. What an asshole, dude. Alright, so maybe here we'll find all the stuff that we need, like lockpicks and all that shit. You know, something big's coming, dude. Way, way too many, uh... Ammunition has been given to us. That, that, oh, that's the doctor. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Alright, 
hold on. Let's see. God damn, he literally killed himself. All right, let's see. So, banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet of, in September 10th um, at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone, CMZ. Attending will be Mayor Mako, uh, Mako, Michael Warren, Chef of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Wasn't he the one, Brian Irons, wasn't the one, the one molesting like the little girl in Resident Evil 2? I don't remember. And the, remember? He had, him, she, he had her hostage or something like that. I don't know if it was Irons. I don't want to like misname somebody, but it sounds very familiar. Thursday, September 10th, 98 to 6 p.m. The Orientation Restaurant, the Orient Restaurant, Central Hotel, second floor, will be uh, honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tesser, United States Senator. Handwritten notes. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. You've booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. <laughs> of course, you'll let Irons know. That fucking asshole. Let's see. There we go. Email from Nathaniel Bard. Greg, I know you're watching the news. The virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a really good friend of me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail. And it's not for my family, nor for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you are the future of the United States, but... If you want the goods, Greg, you have got to get me the hell out of here now, without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team uh, in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. So that's why he said that he had, uh, he had a vaccine. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to. Damn, dude. That is crazy. I got Julie all along. And she trusted me anyway. Right here. This guy knows we're about to get a damn cutscene. Vaccine syringe. What a lucky gal you are, Jill Valentine. Um, I can discard this. Fuck it. I need the vaccine. Give the vaccine right, to Jill. Jill. Hang tight. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. I feel like dead bitch. All right, bitch. One of the 
fuck around with me. Huh. I'm gonna fuck around with you now. How do you like the, 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 them apples, huh? I think actually uh, the lockpick might have to be with Jill. Like us playing as Jill. Now that I think about it. Because we really haven't seen anything as far as like being able to pick lock anything. It's a case right there. How can I get in there? God, I really wish I could go there. Oh, fuck. Anyways, uh, what's in here? Yeah, I think once we start playing with Jill, we'll be able to pick those locks. Oh, God. Dude, come on, I'm fucking hitting R1, dude. Jesus Christ. Next time I'm just gonna end up shooting them anyway, bro. Fuck that. Alright, let me take this fucking herb. Actually, I could have waited to get to the safe and... God damn it. I would have been able to mix it with a red one. You're gonna be okay, Joe. Here we go. God damn, that's a big ass damn syringe. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, let me sit tight. I got this. <sighs> Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Better grab some gear. Defend Joe. Holy, you see, I should have freaking waited, bro. God damn it. Um, buddy, I don't think we got enough gear here. All right, well, Carlos, yeah, I, I think we're screwed here, pal. I'm just letting you know, there's a lot of damn zombies out there. And all we've got is one med kit. Not even, we got an herb and... I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. Oh. The left entry points is better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. Now the fun shit begins. Oh, uh, what the fuck? This is gonna be fun. Yep. Uh, do you guys die? An asshole. This is fucking horseshit already, dude. I'm getting pissed off now. Alright, let me go ahead and uh knock a bop you punk. Fuck out of here. What is this? A detonator? What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go.
Gotta be careful. <laughs> this mission is crazy. All right. Where do I put that detonator? That's the question. Um, just gotta keep defending. Um, all right, we have enough ammo right now. I can't even shoot them when they're outside the freaking glass. God damn it! <laughs> All right, we have enough space for a uh, spray. Okay, I think the zombies are just gonna keep coming. So, go ahead and get this. Oh uh, fuck! You know what? I can actually. I'm gonna take this. A hip pouch. Nice. Why don't you look at that? Where's the fucking generator? Dude, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. <clears throat> what is going on in this game? That's it, bro. Motherfucking stupid whore. Oh, God. What, what am I even doing? Get out of here. No, oh, no, no, no. Throw a fucking grenade, idiot! This is unbelievable. There you go. There you freaking go. All right, what now? Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Dude, this is crazy. This has been literally insane. You guys are dead now, punks. How do you like them apples, huh? Dead now, huh? Peace out. <laughs> Jesus. This has been a little bit too intense. Not even gonna lie. 
Yeah, I'm good. Not even close. <laughs> but at least it's over. I'm coming back. Now let me just make sure there's nothing left. Never. Okay. Please, Joe, be okay. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be micro. You know, I kind of like him now. Man, call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bozy motherfucker. I think I like this guy now. I didn't like his partner. I didn't like Carlos's partner, but he seems like a good dude. I was in the wrong, perhaps. But man, that hospital was insane. That that was crazy. So I guess we're working up as Joe now. There we go. Yes. Where's this guy? Did he leave? Oh. Good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Nah, this is a bad dream. Nah, that's a bad dream. Yeah, that's a bad dream. Oh, fuck it, eh? Bad dream, 100%. That's a bad dream. <laughs> Shit. Where am I? What's going on? Oh. Attention, all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate it can't now. be. This is not a test. So this is the following day. Leave the sick room. Now, of course, since we are Jill and we have a lockpick, we're definitely going to be able to use that lockpick to open up some of the things that we couldn't open with Carlos. So, that's cool. All right, guys. We're going to end it here. I think we've got about another hour into the game and... We finish it, which is kind of crazy, right? But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Cannot wait to record the last part. If you guys want it up ASAP, be sure to leave it a like. And thank you for watching.